What's up, everybody? This is this is Quentin, and I am casting this game because it was freaking. I I named the re it was so bad that I named the replay stressed out of my mind because at one point in this game I was like I was about to cry. I was so stressed at what was about to happen. So, um, bad mojo on here on the right. I'm playing Terran on the left. Um, I switched to Terran because. Uh, well, not because I'm bad at Zerg, but because I get owned by a lot of Terran. And I'm like, how how do I defeat tanks and marauders and and all that? So I'm like, ah. So I switch to Terran, and it's working very, very well. When I go against Zerg, I do exactly what they did to me, which is just totally awesome. But in this game, is a perfect example of this. He goes for, I think this is a double extractor trick he's going to do. So he's going to build his overlord. There, no. Not yet. Yeah, he didn't do it right, but whatever. Um, double Vespian Geyser Extractor cancel, that way he's 12 out of 10 supply. So he's he's cheating the system a little bit here, so props for that. People are like, I've heard people being like, hey, you, they should fix that, Blizzard should fix that. Yeah, if they fix that, then, like, that's going to be a huge pain in the ass for everyone, because they can't, I don't know, I don't know what they would do to fix that. There's me scouting. Um, of course, in every game, ask the Black Charles, I scout in the wrong direction every time. I'll scout here, and then I'll scout here, and then I'll scout everywhere, and then finally I'll go right here. So that's how that goes. He goes for a macro intensive game. I believe he fast expands and then right to here and then he has a superior economy over me the whole freaking game. It's awesome. Um, and I'm super paranoid this game of Zerg because I lost a Zerg match last the round before this to Baneling Bust Mutalisk Ling combo and it was like it was so frustrating. Like I said, I'm going to go down here with my with my SCV. And not a big deal. I mean, Zerg really don't do much in the beginning anyway. The only real advantage to scouting super early is that you're like, you see the six pool and then you run for your life like a little bitch. Because I six pools are deadly. Sometimes, not to that though, could because my marine would totally just be like, own your six pool. That's right. That marine would be such a hero if we got six pool. But it's not a six pool. That's like, let's see, units, that's a, it'd be like a, what was it, 14 pull, 13 pull maybe? I normally do 13 pull when I play Zerg. I do 13 pull, 14 extractory. Extractory? Wow, extractor. Looks like I decided to be Terran and Zerg at the same time and mix refinery and extractor. Extractory. Yeah, there's me finally getting in here, seeing what's up. I'm like, alright. Got a spawning pool. That drone's pissed. He's like, get the hell out of my base. See how long he follows me. It's so funny because all the workers have the same same exact run speed. So, like, they are just all Olympic runners, distance wise, and they can go for go for weeks on end chasing each other. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and keep that drone. Keep that drone targeted because he is like he's my hero. So. We're going to watch him die later, and it's going to be great. We're going to be like, that's the guy that chased my poor little SCV out of the base. You know, it's also really funny, and Black Charles totally agrees with me on this, is the worker wars, you know what I mean? Like, you see, you got a, a drone boxing a, an SCV, you know, and they're both kind of duking it out, and it's epic. Epic. I do have to say, though, that here's a tip for, well, not really a tip, but an idea for anyone who is going against Terran, and they see... You start to scout them, and you're in their base. Attack the guy that is building the wall. Attack the SCV, and I'm sorry, I lost the... Oh, never mind. He turned into this Roche Warren. That's awesome. So that drone is going to have the Roche Warren. Who is going to get blown up? Anyway, that was lame. Um, attack the guy who is building shit. Because that is so frustrating when you have to cancel your, cancel your dude from working and run him back to your mineral line so that somebody else can kill your stupid worker who's killing it. It's so frustrating. Delays the game, delays my build, everything. It's awful. It doesn't always work because sometimes, okay, yeah, he's going to scout me. As I'm going to scout him, I'm like, I'm not going to get cheese or something here. I decided to scout, and I have literally no micromanagement here. Watch this. There's some, but look, I'm like, whatever, and then I'm like, okay, I go macro, and I just sit here and let myself die, but you know, it's okay. I get so close to killing this queen, I was so happy about it. Look, Four, four, four HP on that queen. That is hero queen. Congratulations. Yeah, you spit your larva because you deserve it. Lucky little bitch. One more shot from that marauder. You'd have been done for. That's okay. No big deal. I'm going to go. What am I doing? I have a two 
Racks, Factory, and Starport. I believe I go Banshee. Cloak Banshee, which is not something I would do now, but he's scouting for expansion. I run away because because <laughs> I have a wall in front of me and I know things can't get in, so I run backwards. That's what I do. Anyway, he has total, look at this, he has total map control. He knows exactly what I'm doing, where I have not expanded. He hasn't checked there yet. But he knows, he knows, you know, he's like, oh, this noob, he hasn't expanded yet. So that's going to be sucky for him. And I'm like, whatever, I'm going to get Banshees because Banshees are awesome. He has a Bane Link. Do I see that? I do not see that yet. I'm pretty sure I scan him to find that out. And I get fucking scared. Excuse my language, but I, <laughs> I hate Bane Links. Banelings kill me, because they Baneling busts are super, super effective. And sometimes I just, I can't handle it emotionally. It freaks me out. So, uh, yeah. I'm lacking in the gas category, as usual as a one base Terran, when I'm going, okay, okay, wait, hold on, pause, pause, timeout. I scanned, I saw this, right? I saw the Baneling, the Baneling nest. So what I do, instead of building a bunker here, or here, or uh, you get the point. Instead, of, like building it right next to the wall, I build it behind the wall so that when they bust through here, I can still be attacking them while they get to here. Yes, this tank is out because of Bane Links. I got scared as hell. <laughs> and a real thing to do, a real pro thing, would be to put another bunker here so that when they have 20 billion Bane Links, they can run in and get hit by my tank, hit by my tank, hit by my tank. Boom, bust through this little supply depot. Ooh, boom, come over here, still getting hit by my tank, bust through this bunker, and then they cannot, there's no way they would get through this they second bunker. Raining. So that, I saw that, I believe, I was watching Husky's videos, and I saw that, oh, there's a Bane Link counter. This better be good. So that was awesome, but I was like, you know, whatever, this is fine. I'll just use, I'll just use one. And here he comes, he's massing, ooh, Roach, Bane Link, Ling combo, with Ling's back here, and I hit him with the tank, he's like, ow. Bane Ling's, Jesus. That was freaking scary. Ling's coming in. They get the wall down. Not a real big deal. I would not, personally, if I was that Zerg, I would be pretty pissed because I don't know why I would donate like 20 billion units. Let's look at the units lost. Uh, yeah, so he, yeah. So he's got 1100, I've got 400. Uh oh. Zerg makes around. I don't know why he stopped that because it was totally on top of me, like perfect. And then, yeah, noob, holy crap. He won the best me there. 1300 is 650 with those links. Not bad. Zerglings are surprisingly effective in mass numbers, so that's cool. He's going to stick standard commander roaches. I love roaches, though. Roaches are good. Only when they're upgraded, though. I don't know what he's doing. He needs to get the speed and stuff. I mean, that's... Come on. Go in Hydralisk Den. What am I doing? I got command center going down to expand. Cloak tech. Oh, yeah. Here's the two banshees. Oh, yeah. He's got roaches and lings. I'm like, hell, I'm in good shape. Mm. Two banshees with the cloak tech about to complete. I'm in good shape. Here I go. Watch this epic freaking harass. He doesn't know what to do with his with himself. Boom, one. Let's count them. Two, three, four, no, four, five, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry for my terrible math. I can't even count. I think I'm pretty sure that was eight, give or take. Okay, he's like, uh-oh, spore crawler. That's the one thing that saves him from this game. Luckily, he was able to build that because he would have straight taken me out, so. Clearly, do take this out. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I need to run. No, I don't. See, that wasn't bad. I got a good nine, ten drones out of there. Look at this overlord family. Oh, I'm like, I finally I killed that queen that deserved to die with that marauder a long ass time ago. He's got hydras, and he is preparing to move out for a counterattack. He is pissed. He's like, you don't do banshees. I am pissed. I need to raise that shit. There we go. Ooh. That was close. That was way close. And here we go. Here we go. They're in. They're in. Look at that. Did you see that? My bunker killed the banelings. Oh, uber, uber effective. That bunker is the hero. Life saver. Uh, medevac's out, healing my SCV, totally, he lived, that's hero SCV, he was like, he was, okay, I'll get back to the SCV, and I'm just epic link. he best be macroing up an army, he is, 
Anyway, this Ling, did you see that? He was surrounded completely, like, up to his balls in, like, Zerglings, and he toughed it out. And Medivac was like, here, let me throw you some heals, and he was like, I'm gonna go. I need to rebuild that. But yeah, that bunker, if I could take these out and see how many kills they all had, it would be, like... Five, maybe, a piece? Oh, epic shit. I don't know why he would retreat. Uh, I, I feel like he could take me, definitely. And... Oh, God. Okay. He does. He does. He does. I am epic. Oh, I don't even care. I'm like, whatever, you can take me. What do I do? Okay, guys, this is when it happens. This is my whimper. I'm like... Oh, God. If you listen super carefully, you can hear me. I'm just kidding. But, but seriously, I was like panicked because I'm like, oh my god, fuck, he killed my whole army, now he's, he's locking me down on expansions. Oh, panic, I have two tanks and a bunker, that's all I've got, and I'm like, wow, Quentin, let's save up some more energy with the orbital command, I'm such a pro-Terran. And, but look at, look at this, armory, you know what that means, you know who's coming, that's right, you do know who's coming, Thor's here, Thor's about to be here, okay, and I'm like, fuck, see, I'm panicking right now, I'm like, oh jeez, that is not funny, that is not funny. They're totally attacking. Here's the hero, hero SCV again. Whew. This is even intense enough for me to watch. Um, to, if he had a brain, he would be going mutilisks and totally harassing me. I mean, what could I do right now? I could pull my four, lane, four marines out of my bunker and be like, la la la, and try to attack his what, however many mutilisks. He could take two and probably kill me. Um, He'd be in damn good shape. I need to be pumping marines because I have so much minerals. So much. So many minerals. But no, I'm a noob instead. And I get one tank. Um, I figure the tanks are effective. What is he doing? He... Uh, not a whole lot. He's still losing in, in units lost. Let's see what units we got here. Four Hydralisk, 17 Zerglings. Again, six marines, three tanks, a medevac, a marauder. The drone count, or the worker count, is about the same, except he has two base. <laughs> he still did not saturate this. He's going now. He's like, okay, tired of that. Let's look at the production tab. Oh, infestation pit. I think I scout that, and I fucking lag? Oops, I hit pause, I guess, apparently. Anyway, um, infestation pit. I Yep, there I go. There's my scan. I scout it. And I honestly don't know what to do because I'm like, I have used that shit on people. I've used fungal growth on masses of marines and it kills, like it destroys people. I try to land here to get this expansion going. Um, I believe I dropped like 20 billion mules over there, probably sometime soon. This sling is like chilling out. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch you. I think he see. He can't really see, but if I had mine, he can totally see. So that's obnoxious. I am running. Way close to being out of minerals. Um, that's not good for me. I this is like I said. This moment was when I freaked out. I was like, "Oh my god, he has the upper hand, big time." Let's look at the income tab. Ooh, excuse me while I vomit. I'm like half of what he's at. That's not good, especially for Zerg. Zerg can just mass like bitch, but he's not doing that. Okay, there's the investors out. He does not have the upgrade for fungal growth as they come out. So I would have done that before I got him. Just saying, just saying, not like I'm pro at anything, but just saying, that's generally what people do. Um, infestors are scary. Um, I like the fungal growth better than a Brood Wars Defiler attack thing with the that shit. Same kind of thing, but I like fungal growth better. I don't know why. I just think it's cool. It's like pfft, dead. He has enough energy now. Um, so, what do I have? Let's look at the production tab again. I am running low and low, low, low on economy. I need to get some SCVs out of this bitch. What am I doing right now? Holy lord. Okay, I'm getting hella tanks because I'm so scared of being rushed. I'm thinking mass baneling. Oh, look who's coming. Thor is coming. Thor will probably save me this game right about now. There's my mules going down. I'm like, I need minerals now. Looks like the income tab now. Yeah, that's right, Biatch. What now? Yeah. A little closer. He's like, I'm gonna go mass infester because I think he thinks he's like those guys in the video, in the videos, like the little one and people like that who can own with infestors. He can't. So I decided to push out right now. 
which is kind of crazy. I don't really know what I was thinking. Um, actually, I look, here's what I see. Absolutely nothing. Um, I see what building, what tech he had. Thor is here. I believe, uh, I think I just drop siege mode and just kind of hold my ground right here. Uh, that would be why. Yep, there it goes. Um, if I were smart, I would put my units on this side to protect my tanks, because tanks are like valuable as hell. Look at this. That's so many. I could like fungal growth until next weekend. Not really, but you know. He's like, lings, and this is so irritating. It's like he knew the whole time. What the? Big ol' sigh by me. I'm like, can you give me a break? I have 100 and <laughs> something income. Not looking good. Again, I'm like, oh my god, this is not good. Another Thor is coming. Two more Thor are coming. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and I jump on over here because that's awesome. And here, okay, look at this. Underground infestors, they're going to do some serious damage. I don't even see them. And then watch. This is what he does. This is what he does. You ready? Are you ready for it? Oh my god, suspense. Oh my god. I did not know he was there for that long. Wow, I am so newbie. I thought he just kind of showed up and then did it. Nope, he was there forever. I'm massing marines because I expected like some kind of air or something. I really don't want to miss this epic. Not so epic, actually. This was kind of ridiculous. With this many infestors, he could kill all of this in a matter of seconds. If he... Infested turn. Oh my god, lol, lol, lol. Infested turn. I'm like, nope, not gonna fly. Here comes any second now. Scan. Boom, 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 boom. No more infestors for you. Here comes, he comes on the other side. Tanks, 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 tanks. I love Terran. I love Terran. This is what happens to me. Come to my place, Erg. Boom, 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 boom. Dead. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Three Thor. I have one tank left. He did do some damage on my tanks, but infested Terran? Are you kidding me? He would have had a better chance doing direct assault with his army, fungal growthing all of this bullshit. <laughs> like 20 times and then killed me killed me i would have been done but no i don't know what he was thinking infested terra no one uses that crap unless you're in the back of a mineral line oh okay so basically that was lucked out i lucked out if this would have been me or pl playing against myself i would have fungal growth the shit out of myself that would have been pathetic. anyway wow link's attacking some rocks here out of boredom it looks like they're like we're fucked so might as well kill these rocks anyway here's me doing the tank walk i believe not like it's needed. I have like three Thor back here. And this, I like how I use my Marines as tanks instead of my Thor for damage. But whatever. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Uh, Baneling. Ow. Heal, heal, heal. And he GG's because he's like, I cannot do jack against that. And seriously, if he would have fungal growth in this area, that would have been good game for me. There would have been nothing I could have done. He could have walked in my front door and blown up all of my shit. It takes, like, it takes two fungal growth to kill a marine if you wait the correct amount of time. So he could have killed all of my marines, and he could have done some serious damage to the Thor. Um, let's go back and look at the infested damage after that patch that made it. Where are they? Uh, a little later, a little later. They do, they do, okay, uh, fungal growth. 30% more damage versus armored units, so he could have hit my Thor, my tanks, and my marines, and my medevacs, and everything, and been perfectly fine. Hopefully this guy learned from this, because that is so sad. So sad. I was, I deserved to lose. He had economy, he had everything, and that is why I casted this game, because that is freaking hilarious. Who does infest a Terran? Oh. If I didn't have a scan up too, that would have been super epic. But look at that. I had so much energy. Didn't even matter. Didn't even matter. I was like, I blew his... Yeah, okay. Anyway, this was a fun... This was a fun game, except I was super stressed at one point. I am so happy I won this. But in reality, I lost. Any noob, Zerg... No, I'm sorry. Any moderately pro Zerg that belongs in anything above Silver League would have freaking fungal growth the shit out of me and killed me completely. But it is what it is. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will cast another one sooner or later. See ya.